Motor vehicle wrecks are the leading cause of death for U.S. teens, according to the Centers for Disease Control. One third of all teens who die are killed in car crashes. But there's a relatively new variable in the equation that's pushing those numbers even higher. It's texting and driving. Mike Murad is watching out for you. Mike. Now, Lee, I spoke with teenage drivers in Boise who say they wouldn't even consider getting behind the wheel drunk or on drugs. But some of those same kids admit to texting behind the wheel. And according to studies in both the U.S. and England, that could be the deadliest combination of all. Texting and driving is not just a problem for the professionals like this bus driver in Texas. It's also a growing problem for teens. According to the Centers for Disease Control, teens are four times more likely than other drivers to crash. Teens are also the biggest group of texters Add the two together, and the results can be dangerous, even deadly. Two new spoke with Treasure Valley teens who have had close calls. I actually got a speeding ticket on a street right over here um, about a few months ago, and it was the last time I actually ever texted and drive. Well, I had someone at work that I know that was 18, and he got in a car wreck from his, pa his driver texting and they crashed into a tree. In fact, it was a friend's crash that prompted Timberline senior Haley Myers to agree to be featured in this public service announcement from the Boise Police Department. My friend was involved in a crash because he was looking for his phone on the ground from a text. Greg Wood operates Treasure Valley Driving School and says some teens are developing bad habits. They feel that they get away with it at school, you know, that's in their lap and the teachers don't usually notice so they can think they can get away with it while they're driving as well as multitasking in any other context. 19 states currently have a law against texting and driving, but Idaho isn't one of them. That's something Canyon County Prosecutor John Bujack would like to see change after viewing the results of a national study. Surprisingly to me, texting while driving slowed your reaction time more than either being under the influence of alcohol or being under the influence of marijuana. I think if there's a specific law on the books, just the fact that there's a specific law will help deter folks from engaging in the activity. Two News wanted to find out the effects of texting behind the wheel firsthand, so we headed over to the Idaho State Police driving course in Meridian. I am not a texter, admittedly, so I'm trying to negotiate this stuff on these curves. And to be honest with you, if I take my eyes off the road for half a second, I feel like I'm completely distracted here. So I'm, I'm just over 40 here, and I'm trying to navigate these cones. I've literally only looked down. Oh. <laughs> it's our exit, so we just ran into somebody. But how would a seasoned texter fare on the course? We brought along 2 News producer Robin Farney to find out. Left of center, fog line. Left of center, fog line. Took the turn a little wide. Not touching the brake pedal. Oh my god. Did I touch the brake pedal? <laughs> I don't even know if I touched the brake pedal. How did we do? Um, every time through, the officer that was falling was able to find reason to make a traffic stop. And this was on a closed course with no other distractions like pedestrians, pets, or other traffic. This is what can happen in real life. This PSA was released last year by a police department in Britain. Even though texting and driving can be deadly, it's still a hard sell to many people, including teens. How do you convince them? You know, I don't know. I, we keep writing tickets and picking up the bodies off of the road, and that doesn't seem to convince them, so I don't know what will. I honestly don't. But here's something that might. A new law is now in effect in Utah, making texting and driving a felony if someone is injured in a crash. I've been in contact with Kenning County State Senator John McGee, who is one of the leaders behind the push to ban texting and driving in Idaho. He says he doubts any final legislation would punish people as much as Utah, but with the penalty still being debated, any bill in Idaho could still be a long way down the road. Natalie? Thanks, Mike. And the to, the, to protect kids, Idaho Foundation rather is hoping to keep drivers' eyes off the road. After hearing about Mike reports, that's the Protect Kids Idaho Foundation, in fact, released this latest commercial with Kristen Armstrong, hoping to stop drivers from texting behind the wheel. But there's one hand communication you should never do on the road, texting. If you're texting and driving, 
Your reaction time is comparable to a drunk driver who's more than twice the legal limit. And the foundation asks parents to be a good example and don't text while driving.